Welcome back again to the newsroom. The Court of Appeal in Abuja has affirmed the election of Ubasani of the All Progressive Congress APC as governor of Kaduna State. Delivering the judgment on Friday, a three-member panel of the Appellate Court held that the tribunal acted in error when it depended on inadmissible evidence to order the conduct of the supplement supplementary polls in the 22 polling units of four local government areas where the exercise was deemed inconclusive. The court also held that the tribunal was right in dismissing the petition of the PDP and Issa Ashiru as the petitioners had abandoned their petition for their failure to apply for the issuance of a pre-hearing information sheet after close of pleadings as required by paragraph 18, subsection 1 of the first schedule in the Electoral Act 2022. In a similar development, the Federal High Court in Abuja has ordered the People's Democratic Party, PDP, not to remove Samuel Ayanwa as National Secretary of the Party until the substantive matter is heard and decided. Justice Inyang Ekwon on Tuesday had granted the ex-party request filed by Joshua Musa in the ruling. He then adjourned the case until December 4th for a hearing on the application on notice. And the federal government has promised waste contractors fast payment for trash services to promote optimal services delivery in the Federal Capital Territory, FCT. Fred Paco, Senior, Senior Special Assistant to FCT Minister in Sumwiki on Environment and Waste Management made this known on Friday in Abuja. Paco advised the contractors to work closely with the Abuja Environmental Protection Board to keep the city clean and not hide behind delayed wage payments. And Nigeria has attained 78 of the 80% national target for the human papillomavirus HPV vaccination set for the pilot state where the vaccine was rolled out. Joseph Orang, the immunization officer, River State Premier Healthcare Management Board, disclosed this in Portaco during a two-day media dialogue on care for small and sick newborns, oxygen availability, and the introduction of HPV vaccine in Nigeria. Joseph urged parents and guardians to allow their daughters to take the HPV vaccine, saying the vaccine is free, safe and potent against the virus. And the Gombe State Executive Council, presided by Governor Muhammad Yaya, has approved the 2024 medium-term expenditure framework for present presentation to the House of Assembly. The State Commissioner for Budget and Economic Planning, Salu Al-Kali, said the Gombe SEC adopted the memo, adding it was hinged on assumption basic on what the state expects to get as revenue, what it hopes to spend as expenditure, as well as the recurrent revenue or capital revenue. And on the foreign scene, violent clashes broke out in central Dublin on Thursday evening with vehicles touched and riled police attacked by a fire right mob following a knife attack at a school in the Irish city. A five-year-old girl was seriously injured in the attack earlier in the day. A woman and two other young children were also hospitalized. The police have said more than 400 officers have been deployed in Dublin city centre to contain the unrest. And finally, in sport, Premier League club Wolverhampton Wanderers have entered the race to sign Nigerian young star Rafi Durosimi when the transfer window reopens in January. Gary O'Neill's side have been in talks with his club Victoria Plensin after sending scouts to watch him in action this season. The 20 year old has scored six goals in the nine league appearances for players in the season. And that's it on Genusium at this moment. Many thanks for joining us. I'm Apoyemi Uwashini. Bye for now.